Hey guys, what's up? Today, we're going to calibrate a monitor. Now, calibration is something I highly recommend for nature photography. I've got a new Dell monitor right here. It's just out of the box. So I thought we'd walk through the calibration process. First off though, let's talk about what calibration is and why you might want to do it. So we go on the field, we take all these images, and then when we come back, we're viewing and we're processing them on a display device, like a monitor, right? Well, in doing so, we're relying on the fact that what we see is what we get, right? If we're working on an image, we wanna make sure that the colors we're seeing when we're processing are accurate. Now, all the calibration process does is take a display device and align the colors of that device with an accepted standard. So like I said, you know that what you see is what you get. You know that your colors and luminosity are accurate. So what are the benefits? Well, one big one is it's gonna ensure an efficient and an accurate workflow. And that's not just you working on your monitor. That translates through to you know processing your images, to eventually publishing and posting your images. You know that the colors are accurate. You know that what you see and what others see aligns with that standard. Next, it'll make a huge difference to your printing process. So if you have a calibrated monitor, you know your colors are accurate and you can be confident when you're soft proofing an image that what you see is what you get when you print that image. Now, if you're working on an uncalibrated monitor, you might get a print with washed out colors or maybe the saturation is off. So the calibration process is actually pretty easy. Uh, there's a lot of products out there that you can buy that are a combination of software and hardware, but the two big players are Datacolor and X-Rite. So Datacolor makes their spider line, and then uh, for X-Rite, I really like their Display Pro line. So I have an X-Rite i1 Display Pro. This is what I recommend. Um, I've gotten excellent results with this. I have used the data color uh, spider line and I've just gotten inconsistent results between displays. So I shifted over to X-Rite and I've been really, really happy with the Display Pro. Now I haven't used the latest Spider X Pro, so I can't speak on that, but I do know, like I said, I've been really, really happy with the Display Pro. The biggest discrepancy is price though. The X-Rite i1 Display Pro comes in at around $270 where Data Color Spider X Pro is around $170. So you're gonna have to consider that, but I will say, you know, I, I really, really like the results from the Display Pro, and this is what we're gonna be using today. Now, the nice thing is, once you have your calibration device, it's gonna last you a long, long time. I've used this Display Pro on many, many monitors, and I will continue to do so. So it's an investment, right? You know, it is expensive, but I calibrate my monitor on a weekly basis and it's just part of my photography workflow. So what we're gonna do today is use this Display Pro and we're gonna calibrate this new Dell monitor I have here. To start the process, the first thing we wanna do is go to the X-Rite website. We're gonna to navigate to service and support and within that, we can find the i1 profiler. This is the software application that will lead us through the monitor calibration. So depending on whether you're working on a PC or a Mac, you just wanna click whatever version you need, install, and then we're ready to go. To start, we're gonna plug in the Display Pro into our computer. Next, we'll open the i1 Profiler software. So this is gonna guide us through the calibration process. Uh, there's a basic and an advanced mode, but basic is more than adequate for our means. To start the calibration process, we're gonna go up to display profiling and we'll click that and now we'll begin. So we have some settings that we can adjust right off the bat. It's gonna automatically uh, recognize the monitor we have plugged in and the display type. Also, we can select a different white point, but D65, which it'll be set to at default, is kind of the standard for photography. Now we have some options with luminance as well. Usually you wanna be around 100 to 120 uh, units, depending on the brightness of your room. I prefer 120, so I will select that. 
And after that, we will leave the default values for the tone response curve and we will leave gamma as well. So really we don't have to adjust many settings. All right, let's go on to the next page. So this is gonna start the calibration process. Now we wanna make sure we have adjust brightness, uh, contrast and RGB gains manually checked. That's gonna allow us to adjust uh, some things directly on our monitor. So once that's checked, we'll go over to start measurement and we will click to begin. The first thing we have to do is get our display pro and we have to unlock it. So we're just gonna move that cap off the front that'll reveal the spectrometer. And now we're gonna use the counterbalance to balance it completely flat on our monitor. Now it's very important that the display pro is totally flat as you can see from the side here. So we don't want any space uh, between the monitor and the device. Okay, so once the D Display Pro is in place, uh, we'll continue. So the first thing we have to do is let the software know what we can adjust on our monitor. So I can adjust the contrast and brightness. Uh, most monitors will not have RGB controls, so we'll leave that unchecked. All right, we'll click Next. And now the uh, device is going to just take some measurements from a couple different colors and contrast values and it's gonna let us know what the brightness value is currently. So you can see my, my brightness is at 268, it's way higher than 120. So I'm gonna go on my monitor, I'm gonna open up the settings, I'll navigate to the brightness contrast menu and I'm just gonna adjust the brightness value until I, I get it dialed in so that bar is right between in the middle at 120. So you'll see as I adjust the brightness, uh, you can see the quality indicator bar is going to drop down into that green value and the measured white luminance is now at 119 so we can continue on. All right, and that will start the calibration process. So uh, the software will display a bunch of different colors and the Display Pro is just measuring all of these colors to get an accurate reading, and it's gonna use that data to calibrate and align the colors of the monitor with that standard we discussed. All right, so when we're done, we'll put the cap back on the Display Pro, and uh, that's it, really. So we're gonna save this profile. So once the cap's on, uh, we'll go to click Next. It's gonna bring us to this screen where we have to, uh, again, save the ICC profile. So we'll click Next. And we have some options here. So we can give the profile a name. We wanna make sure system level is checked. So that will distribute it across our system. So for processing and Lightroom, Photoshop, or other applications, uh, we're good. You can check a reminder. I'll just leave mine at none and we don't need to worry about ambient light. So now we're gonna to click to save this profile. It'll be distributed and let's compare before and after. So you can see the difference between our uncalibrated display and the calibrated display. Now just think about when you're processing your images, think about the difference that, you know, working on uncalibrated versus calibrated monitor can make. So we'll click home and that's all there is to it. Our monitor is now calibrated. So calibrating is just such an important process in your workflow. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. Leave us a like if you did, and we'd love to hear from you in the comments. Are you calibrating your monitor? What's your experience been like? So thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for our next video, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.